today we are doing Libby by Overdrive, which is um, audiobooks and ebooks. So, what is Libby by Overdrive? Libby by Overdrive, aka Libby, is a free app that allows you to borrow ebooks, audiobooks, and magazines from a participating public library. The app links your library to make borrowing books even easier and let you read your favorite books from your electronic devices. And here's the link to the website if anybody wants to um, copy that or put it in the chat. So read across devices. All your loans, notes, and bookmarks and reading progresses sync across your devices. Um, you can listen in your car, uh, so you can enjoy audiobooks in your car through Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or a Bluetooth connection. You can also have offline access, which is great because you can download ebooks and audiobooks for offline reading or stream them to, um, to save space, um, which is awesome. Um, you can also send it to Kindle. So if you prefer reading on your Kindle, Libby can send your library books to it, although this is just for uh, US libraries only. So iPhone plus iPad. Uh, Libby by Overdrive is av available on the Apple App Store, which is um, the icon right here, um, to download for free. The books and ebooks are available to download on the app to have access offline when there's no Wi-Fi. So this is what it's going to look like when you um, go to your app store and try to download it. And this is all the information that um, the app has. Uh, Google Play app. Um, Libby by Overdrive is also available on Google Play to use on Android devices like Samsung smartphones and tablets. Like the Apple version, you'll be able to browse for ebooks and audiobooks. And this is what it's going to look like when you search it up on your Google Play app. So, getting started. Once you've downloaded and opened the app, you need to create an account. So when it asks if you've had a library card, you can tap yes if you do have a library card or not yet if you do not. If you do choose yes, select your library by inputting its name, city, or by using your location. So this is what's gonna pop up when you um, uh, created your account and um, you can click yes if you have your card or not yet. So once you selected your library, tap sign in with my card and input your library card number. If you do not have a card from that library, tap I would like a card, and it will provide you with the instructions to obtaining a library card. Usually this includes visiting your local branch and providing your name and proof of your current address. So this is what it will look like when you do select your library, and you can input your card number here um, if you do have your card number, and if you need help, you can always press get in touch. So once you've verified your card number and created an account, you can start looking and borrowing books. So this is what's gonna look like when um, you're able to start looking for books, um, see what's just added, and you can see there's over 600 titles. What types of books and audiobooks are there? There are many books from different genres. You can view lists to explore popular books at the moment or books in different languages. So here are all the genres that you can choose from, and there's many more if you scroll down. And here are all the languages that you can choose to read your books in as well. iPhone borrowing books and audiobooks. So before reading a book, you can read a sample. Um, so you're going to look for the um, button that says read a sample, and um, you're able to just read a little blip of the book as if you were in a library and you could flip to the back and see what it's about. Um, and if the book is not available yet, you can place it on hold like you would in a real library. Um, in this example, the Alice Network has a wait time of about 11 weeks. So if the book is available, the process of borrowing is the same as the web reader. So here's where you would press to place hold. iPhone app reader. Um, after selecting a book and borrowing it, 
click on your shelf to access your book. So once you get to your shelf, um, you can view your books on hold and you can also cancel holds. Um, you can also uh, manage your loans and that can uh, be able to renew the book or return the book. And here's where you see the number of uh, pages. And um, it depends what device you're on. So if you're on an iPad, um, the number of pages might be less because they're able to fit more of the text on the iPad rather than uh, your iPhone as it's smaller. So to access Libby on a computer, visit libbyapp.com to open the web reader. If you're creating an account for the first time, follow the same steps as for the iPhone. Um, and when you click on this link, your screen should look something like this. And it also brings you, if you do want to download the app in uh, Apple or Google. Website Reader. The Website Reader guides you through the process of setting up your account. It helps with the setup of a library card if you don't have one. The Website Reader does not need to be downloaded. And you are able to read and listen to books just like the app. Just don't forget to bookmark the page. So from the what's popular book list, um, this is what you'll see on your screen. So you can always hit what's popular, see what people are reading right now and um, be able to just keep in touch with the newest books. So filters allow you to find the types of books that you wanna read. So you can do subjects, date added, format, um, language, audience, supports, and uh, availability. And it really helps if you can't find the book that you're looking for to use the filters as well. Um, you can also choose your own preferences from these categories. So you can do books, audiobooks, magazines, um, even read along books, or you can do any. Um, again, different languages, audiences, compatibility, availability, and again, date added. So when the book or audiobook is available, you can click borrow. And once you have borrowed it, the plus symbol will become a check mark. And this allows you to return the book early or renew it. You can also place it on hold. Um, just simply click on the place hold button and it would go to your shelf. So duration allowed to borrow the book. So it will tell you how long you're able to hold the book for. And again, you just wanna click borrow to get the book you selected into your library. After selecting a book and borrowing it, click open to view the web reader. To change the layout to a single page and set it two pages on the screen at once, click on the first button to change the size of the text and the lighting. Then you're going to click on the second button. Bright lighting makes the book white, sepia lighting makes the book look a little bit like paper, and dark lighting makes the book black with white text. To search for specific words in the book that you would like to find, click the third button. Then type your word. To bookmark, click the outline button. And to highlight, hold left click over the word you would like to highlight, then select highlight. And if you would like to define a word, hold left click over the word, then um, click define. And I know that's a lot of information, but um, during the live demo, I'll definitely go over all that stuff. Web reader recent updates. So assistive technology support, screen readers, voice control, and other assistive technologies work better with Libby. You can also pursue our new menu. Libby's menu now fills the screen with a more familiar menu button, so it's easier to see. And um, accessibility features. In the settings section of the menu, there are controls to adjust Libby just to suit all your needs while reading. So here are some common questions that are asked about Libby. Is Libby free? 
Yes, Libby is completely free. It's free to install and there are no subscription costs, no in-app pur purchases, and no late fees. All you need is a valid library card from your local library. Does Libby work with my library? Libby works with public libraries that use OverDrive, which over 90% of public libraries in North America have OverDrive. Libby is in 78 countries worldwide. So search for your library on overdrive.com and see if it will work with Libby. How do I get a library card? Some libraries let you get a library card directly inside Libby using your phone number. Libby's have verifying requirements for library cards. It's best to contact your local library directly or visit the website to see what you need to do. What books can I find with Libby? Your library chooses which digital titles they'd like to provide through Libby. This means they can tailor their content for the, content for the community. It doesn't include any physical materials from your library. So you can click on one of the topics you would like to get more information about, or you can type your, message, your question into the search bar. So if you're having any problems, you can, if you see which one you're having problems with, you can click it here, or again, you can just search your problem into the search bar. And here's the link if you'd like to get um, help with the app or the web reader. And now for a quick uh, live tour of Libby. And I'm just going to um, screen share my phone here. So I'm going to go to the Apple App Store. Unfortunately, I can only do an Apple tour as I don't have any Android devices. But then I'm going to go to the search bar and I'm going to search up Libby by Overdrive. And I see this one right here and I'm going to download it. So I'm going to press open. All right, so here's where it's asking, do you have a library card? So I personally do not have one yet. So I'm going to click not yet. And I'm going to press find libraries nearby. So you can either search for one, or I'm just going to use my location for them to find my nearest library for me. So here it shows me a library that I can click on and it is this uh, bluish dot. So I'm gonna click on that one and I'm going to say, yes, this is my library. So now I'm all in and um, you'd wanna hit, I would like a card. But for this demo, I'm just gonna show you everything that you can do except actually hit borrow. Um, but once you have your card, you can actually hit borrow and read those books. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is um, the basic features. So when it was talking about the shelf, it's going to be these three books, at the, the two books at the bottom. So it just highlighted as blue as I clicked on it. And at the top, you can see shelf. So here it says loans, holds, and tags. So loans is gonna be all the books that you have borrowed. And then holds are going to be the books that you have on hold, as um, the example with the Alice book, as it was on hold for 11 uh, weeks. And tags is really cool as well, as that's a, um, a group, as you could call it, to um, put a wish list of books that you would like to read. So let's do a demo of searching for a book. So let's say I wanted to read Dr. Seuss. Perfect. As you can see here, I see borrow, read sample, and tag. So I'm going to put read sample. So this is how you could see if you really want to read the book, get a little bit of um, an insight of what the book's about. This is where you'll be able to bookmark. So at the top of my um, screen on the right, you'll see this little bookmark and highlights. So this is where you can either bookmark a page. So you can just tap on the right um, top hand corner and you'll see a little bookmark come up as the red um, comes up in the top right corner. So that means you've bookmarked your page. Um, you can also um, highlight in that section. So if you just tap on whatever you'd like to highlight, 
on the words. You can also use the Zoom feature. If you're having a hard time, you just um, hit on the Zoom icon there and you're able to zoom in and out of the screen and read the text easier. And you can also um, change the lighting of the book just to make it easier for you to read. So you can do dark and bright. And you can also search within the book. So if you were looking for a certain character or a name, or you did forget to bookmark, but you remember a certain sentence, you can always search within the book and um, it would bring you to that page you're looking for. And down here is also where you can slide. As you see, the page numbers are changing if you do just wanna to change to that certain page faster than swiping. All right, so now that we read a sample and we want it, we can hit borrow. So obviously I don't have my card in, but if you did, it would automatically go to your shelf and you'll be able to go to your shelf and see it here. Um, you can also do the tag feature. Um, so you can do a new tag and you can put wish list. One, and then it would be in your tags. So you can always go back if um, you can't find the book. And if you see this little clock in the bottom right corner, this shows you all the activity. Um, you'll see all the book titles you've borrowed, all the holds, um, all your return loans, pretty much all your activity on the Libby app. And lastly, This is where you can get help and support. So if you go on the three lines in the middle, this will bring you to if you needed to change um, your library or um, add a card. And you can also get your help and support. So you can press get some help. And this leads you to all the troubleshooting options you might have. Or you can also search to um, in the search bar here, or you can browse the help site. And if you click on the link, it will bring you to another page um, with more help categories. Um, when you're searching for a book, you can also explore with the filters. So here are just some examples available now. Um, audiobooks, just magazines. Um, so let's say we just want to do just magazines. It would bring you to a list of just magazines instead of um, other books as well. So thanks for listening. And if you'd like to learn this lesson with the Cyber Seniors Mentor, please go to uh, www.cyberseniors.org or call the number on the screen to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session.